Now let's say you wanted to sort this result by name. You wanted to sort this result by name or maybe uh, let's say you wanted to query one more field called annual revenue and then you will say value and currency have something called display value as well. This currency is basically going to give you the symbol. The display value is also going to give you the currency symbol. Okay. And let's add first up as 20. And let's execute it to see the result how it comes. Okay. This is how the result comes. Now let's say you wanted to sort this result. You wanted to sort this result by annual revenue or descending order. Okay. So if we go back to SQL query and we'll say order by annual revenue DESC. Okay. That means we are ordering the account by annual revenue descending like this. Okay. We are ordering the and like this. So how you are going to put this order by in your GraphQL query? How you are going to put this order by in your GraphQL query? So for this, again, every single thing is going to be between these two parentheses. So just put a comma here and say order by as soon as you type, you will see the suggestion. Now here is something that you need to uh, pay attention. You need to pay attention here. Order by, then you have to say colon. So order by is the key. Now how you have to provide is the key thing here. How you are going to provide the field here. You cannot say order by and you cannot say something like this name. No, you cannot say order by annual revenue. No, you cannot do like this. If you do and send the request, this is not going to work. You could see here it is clearly saying error, validation error. So how you how this order by going to work? So you have to say order by then opening and closing parenthesis and then you have to type field name whatever the field you wanted to do the order by okay and then again type a colon and then again opening closing parenthesis and then here what you have to do you have to say order you have to say order and then what you want to either desc or asc either desc or asc and then if you click on send you will see that your account has been sorted the result uh, let me hide the docs the result the result has been clearly sorted by the annual revenue you could see here it has blank value that is why we are able to that is what we are seeing in the SQL queries as well. So if you scroll down now you would see here right the display value sorry value is this and display value is kind of giving us the formatted currency formatted currency right. So now again this order by that is something I would uh, again explain you because uh, this is something I was also kind of confused when I started working with GraphQL. So you have to just put order by and you have to put colon then order by is going to contain an object order by is going to contain an object so you have to uh, give the object and the javascript object is something opening and closing curly braces okay then you have to provide by which field you wanted to do the order by then this field the or the field also contains accepts an object as a value so you have to say object here op again opening and closing parenthesis and here you have to say order because you wanted to do the order and either it should be asc or dsc and then execute it and then execute it so this is how you are going to put the order by in your GraphQL condition in your GraphQL query. Okay. Now there is going to be something really, really important. If we wanted to put some filter, let's say we wanted to put some filter where name like where name like let's say oil, where name like oil. 
and execute it uh, from it should be from account and you see there are three records which are coming up so if you wanted to apply this kind of query here uh, like filter if you wanted to apply filter how you are going to apply it so all you have to do is hit enter either before order by or after order by and do a control space to see what are all options you have remaining so you have this where condition is still remaining right so you will say where now where is again an object where is again an object so you have to use opening and closing curly braces then what is the field that you wanted to put a filter upon so the field is name so just say name then name is again accepting the object like this field accepting the object similarly the name field accepting the object here like this then the first the key of an object would be the operator that you wanted to put here uh, like uh, the operator could be like equal not equal in not in uh, less than greater than less than or equal greater than or equal there could be multiple operators right so if you don't know what are the accepted operators you can get it from google but as well as you can get it here just doing this control space you will see all the operators that are available here so let me tell you this eq stands for equal ne stands for not equal like we have already talked about that is like then lt is less than gt is greater than lte is less than or equal gte is greater than or equal in is uh, we have already we already know in that accepts the array of a string and we already know not in that accepts a array of a string okay so we have to say like name like okay and then put colon and then provide the value within the sing double quotes within the double quotes the value should be within the double quotes and then say here you are saying oil you are saying oil and if you send the request if you send the request you would only see the accounts that contains oil you will only see the account that contains oil here so that is how you are going to apply the simple filter in the graphql query a very simple query a filter into the graphql query now there could be a possibility that uh, you wanted to do order by annual revenue desc comma maybe name asc maybe name asc if you have to do something like this that means all i wanted to say is if in a graphql you have to perform order by two different fields or three different fields how you will perform how you will add that so that is really easy in the order by itself you already have one order by here you just have to do is put a comma here then put the field that you want say name and then say you wanted to provide the object so provide the object and say order either asc or dsc asc or dsc and send it your result is also going to be is still going to be same but now you have applied two level of sorting now you have applied two level of sorting so the reason why first i talked about sorting at a two different label because now if you want to apply multiple filters if you want to apply multiple filters let's say you are saying okay where name like oil and name like oil and annual revenue is greater than let's say this number okay annual revenue is greater than the number we have and that is going to give us only one record that is on going to give us only one record so if we have to do this query into the graphql 
so how we will construct our graphql query how we will construct our graphql query so for that for that all you have to do is similarly like order by that you have done you have to see okay put a comma add a field here annual revenue then again provide colon and provide object and you have to say greater than right so it should be zt greater than colon and then you have to provide this value then you have to provide this value and that's it and as this is a currency value this is not going to get inside double quotes this is a currency value remember currency number integer or boolean are not going to provide inside not going to be inside double quotes now if you click on send request you are able to see only one record and that is the expected result and that is the expected result before we move in uh, to a different concept in graphql itself let me add one field here industry and we just added this field right we just added this field we are not giving this uh, we are not giving the nodes we are not saying we want value so if we do this kind of thing and send request this is going to be getting into an error called invalid error validation error so any field except this id field will have the edges will have the nodes to we will we have to tell them that what exactly we are looking for we have to tell them what exactly we are looking for either value or display value like this like this right so okay if you don't see the result let me show you now okay now you might be seeing this result so this is how you will seeing the result of your sql query of your graphql query that you have just constructed and this is how your graphql query is going to get constructed now you might be thinking okay you have shown us the condition that is and the condition that is and what if the condition is or what if the condition is or and let's now uh, revert the condition revert the condition earlier it was greater than now it is less than and if we execute you see we've got eight results now the condition is or now the condition is or so how we are going to implement this in our graphql query so for that let's come back here and so if you put the condition if you put the put the filter like this it is definitely going to consider and by default the operator is and but what if you wanted to add this or here okay what if you wanted to add or condition here so let's take down this filter and what you have to do is you have to say or you see or say or then put comma and then have an array and then paste the queries here, paste the filter here paste the filter here so you want or right so there would be more than one condition that you wanted to join with this or with this or statement so what is going to this or is going to do is it is going to accept an array of filters array of filters now as soon as i pasted this this is giving me the error you clearly see this is saying syntax error right so how to fix this now what you have to do is every single filter has to be within the objects every single filter has to be within the objects and as soon as you do this as soon as you do this your filter is going to be perfectly fine you see here you clearly see you can clearly see the filter is working perfectly fine right and now the r is going to be applied here now our query says less than so we will say lt we will say lt less than and execute it and we got the result let me show you here now and we got this result we got all the results we got 
all the required results that we needed so that is how you perform the or query even you could also explicitly say and here you could also explicitly say and so that is also considered as and but if you provide multiple filters and do not put any operator explicitly by default it will be and only by default it will be and only